That shows how messy my hair is. This is going to be a shit shower video. Hello everyone, it's Chloe here and welcome back to my channel now. Don't click off the video, I know I look a ratchet as mess right now. I'm going to fix it. Hopefully. First of all, I'm doing my makeup today, so I'm going to put it back in a ponytail. Not ponytail, like in a headband. But I just thought I'd do the intro without a headband on, and that was a really bad decision, so I apologise. Second of all, I have band-aids on my fingernails because the SNS, so the yellow part of my nail, is chipping off. And my natural nail, these are my natural nails if no one knows, so I don't want to ruin my natural nails, so I've just covered them in band-aids. And third of all, my background is looking messy because my bed's not made because my cat is sleeping right behind me. As I said, we are doing a makeup tutorial today. I'm going to put my hair up because it's annoying me. I look like Steve Harrington, which is fantastic. But yeah, so my hair's looking crazy. I am doing a hairstyling video. I don't know if it's going to be out before this or after it, but if it is, I'll link it down below. I'm going to practice new techniques with my hair because it's getting way too long for my liking. Anywho, so today I am just going to sit down and do some makeup with you. I haven't done that in a while. I haven't sat down and just played around with makeup in a while. I'm not going to play music. I'm not doing anything like that. I'm actually just going to sit down and do an eye look for you guys. I really want to do green. I like the color green. It's not my favorite color, but I like doing looks with the color green. Now, I have five palettes here that I'm probably going to use today. I did try and look up a video or a photo to reference. The only one I really liked was Nikki Tura's one. She was doing a review on the Glam Light Hamburger palette. But if I have some photos, I'll put them on the screen. But it's a beautiful green and kind of yellow halo eye. So we're going to try and recreate that in my own way. But if you want to know how I create somewhat of a decent look. Just keep on watching everyone. <laughs> I feel like this tutorial is going to be really in-depth. So if you don't like in-depth tutorials, don't watch this one. <laughs> I'm first going to prime my face with the Mega Cosmetica Perfect Makeup Base. I used to use this all the time when I was like, I don't know, two years ago or some shit. I just stopped using it. But now I'm getting back into it because it's actually really nice. It has SPF something in it. I think it's 15 or something. So it's really good to protect the skin, but it's also a really good base to put your foundation on. So I low-key love it and I'm going to use it because I have it for a reason. How are we all? <laughs> I feel like I haven't sat down and done a video in ages, like just to sit down and talk. But I feel like this is going to be really fun. I don't... Oh, okay. Now we are moisturized. I don't know what my skin is doing lately. This over here is just chilling. So having a fun time. Now that that's in my skin, that sounded really weird. I'm going to choose my foundation. Now, I think I'm going to use a mix today. I don't really know what I'm doing. Foundation. I'm going to use the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. I'm in Alabaster. And I'm also going to mix a little bit of the Born This Way by Too Faced in Pearl. Frank uses on me for our video. I'll link it down below. But I actually kind of love the coverage on this. And I haven't used it in a while because it's just so expensive that I just use it for like really special occasions. So I'm going to mix them so I don't waste too much. They're not really the same shade. So we'll see how this turns out. I'm just going to get a Morphe 4224 brush, which is the flat shade concealer brush. And put maybe like two pumps of each on the back of my hand maybe three who knows i think my cat just sneezed yeah the Too Faced one is a lot darker so i don't know if you can tell but we're in for a shit show okay so i'm just gonna use that and just kind of mix them together god the Too Faced one is really orange how do i wear that all the time okay oh god i'm really scared that because i'm using so much like color on my eyes today i feel like i need like a full coverage foundation i don't know if that's just me or just because i love full coverage or not but who knows gonna put some on my chinny chin chin i feel like this is gonna oxi oh okay, i can't speak i feel like this is gonna oxidize i look really orange this is gonna be fun so i'm planning on filming like three videos today so if this look turns out shit my other video is gonna turn out shit let's be honest let's have a little prayer and hope this works out the way we want it to i'm just gonna blend it out with my real techniques beauty blender i look really orange this is not gonna turn out good i can tell you that it's not that bad but it could be worse like i've seen worse oh my god ew i hate getting foundation lips i really do i don't even know what to talk about this is really dark like can you tell okay well let's try and lighten it up with some concealer how about they I've got to clean my beard when i don't look at it <laughs> gotta clean all my brushes just don't have a look at them okay thank you but now for concealer i don't know what to use should i use jeffrey maybe i should use jeffrey this is a jeffrey star magic concealer i did do a review on this and like the powders so if you want to see that i'll leave it down below or in the eye cards or whatever you want to call them nowadays this is in c2 i have c1 c2 c3 and c4 i'm pretty sure and i have the green one so i just got the four lighter shades so this this is C2 and there's a hair on my face. 
so I'm just gonna put a shit ton of this on. I like bright under eyes, but like not too bright because it can like leave the line of concealer. Did you hear that? That was my cat. So I'm just gonna blend this out with the same beauty blender. I really do like this concealer. I liked it in the video I did, but I just hated the powder. I still don't like the powder, but that's just my opinion. You could still love the powder, I just don't really like the powder. The concealers are beautiful though. My cat is snoring in the background, so I apologize for that. Okay, socks. Thanks for that. My skin's kind of looking good. Besides all the pimples and blemishes, but it looks cute or whatever. Okay, so I think I might set my face now. For my under eyes, I'm going to use the pointy end of the beauty blender and my Cody S Bun Loose Powder in transparent. And set that all in. Because this concealer does need to be set because it is kind of thick in a way. It just really needs to be set majority of the time. Some concealers you don't really need to set because they're mattifying. But the ones I really like, they don't really have the mattifying aspect in it. Because I don't really like mattifying concealers. I'm just going to beauty blender all the concealer areas. And then I'm going to get a fluffy brush and some of that loose powder as well. And just set the rest of my... I just washed this and now it's covered in powder. Dang it, I hate doing that. Oh my god, I did it again. So I think that's all set. I think, let's hope anyway. Now, we're gonna move on to my eyebrows. Some of you may not know, but some of you probably do know. I got my eyebrows microbladed. I don't know when, but I did. <laughs> I ain't get them touched up, so Bonnie, if you're watching this, I'll see you soon. I don't know when because I don't have money, but I'll see you soon. So this is going to be kind of uneven because they're not really looking that good. I'm sorry. So what I use for my eyebrows is the ColourPop Bane Brunette Brow Color. This is the most beautiful brow color or brow pomade, I should say, in the world. I used to always use Anastasia when I was younger and I hated it. <laughs> when hey, I loved it, but I hated how thick they made my brows. I only used to love thick brows. I kind of still do because I keep looking back at photos because I'm doing my slideshow for my birthday so I'm like looking back at all the old photos I'm like oh my god my brows were so thick and they were they really were I'm not joking bitch so that's all thanks to this bad boy which I still have and then I used to use like a NARS eye cream on this channel so you could probably go back a long time and see videos of this then I used a powder and then I found this bad boy I've just stuck with it so what I basically do is just grab my lovely lovely eyebrow brush I need to keep buying these these are the Morphe M158 brush it's an angled brush on the end and a spoolie on the other. I just dip the brush in the colour, wipe a little bit off on my hand because I don't like it too thick because I do start at the start of my brow, which I really probably shouldn't do. And then I just follow my brow. I don't really do anything like spectacular with my brows. I just make them darker and kind of have a shape to them because when I got the micro ladder, Bonnie did wax them and stuff, but like that's kind of grown in, so I don't really have the perfect brow now. So I kind of just do whatever. Doesn't take me that long, but like it does. It used to take me four ever when i was like a lot younger like a couple years ago it took me forever to do my brows and oh my god it was so annoying so i kind of just brush this through it's just really easy to work with like color pop sister holy shit your products are so good that's a brow like that's actually really nice i'd fade out the front obviously just give me a second while i do the other one this brow's a little bit more effed up than the other so this is gonna look tragic that looks crazy oh jesus I think this is why it took me so long to do my brows when I was younger because like I needed them to be perfect now I don't really give two shits about them well I do but like like not a lot <laughs> Why well, I do to fade out the front, you probably shouldn't really do this. I just got the end of the spoolie and kind of just do circle motion and kind of drag the product off. Now this will drag your foundation off, but I usually just powder the front as well. Don't, don't do what I do because you'll probably regret it. <laughs> okay, so just to fade out the front a little bit more. Oh my god, everything keeps dropping. I do get a pressed powder. Now the pressed powder I just use is the Fit Me one by Maybelline. Nothing too fancy. I'm going to get a concealer brush. This is the Morphe M1. Seven, three. I'm going to dab that in the powder and very lightly just tap it on the front of the brow. Kind of make a nice little fade. Kind of like that. Kind of not like that. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Like, you know what I mean? You win some, you lose some. Anyways, yeah, so and now to finish off the brow, I'm going to use the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. This one's in dark brown and I'm just going to set those brows in place. Like a so. So now my brows and base are on. We're going to start with the eyeballs. Now I think I might zoom you in just a little bit so you get to see up close and personal on this beautiful face of ours. Ours? Mine? Or whatever. I 
think that's close enough because if you get any closer you're going to see everything. What I'm going to start to do for my eyes is obviously make a base for the eyeshadow. So I'm going to use the P. Louise base in Rumor Zero which is the full on white one. I usually use this when I do full colour. If, if I'm just doing like nudes or something that I still want to pop I use the nude one. It's just a lot easier. I'm going to put that on my lid with just the concealer brush I used a little bit earlier. I think I might do one eye on camera. I don't know if I'm going to do one eye on camera or not. It was really hard to do like two eyes on camera the same so I think I might just do one. I know you guys kind of hate that but it's just really easier on me. Now for the fun stuff. I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes to use. I have the James Charles palette. I have the Jawbreaker palette by Jeffree Star and I have three Dwellers Place palettes. I have the Freaky, the Magic Mini and the Zulu. This is going to be fun. <laughs> I think all the Juarez Place ones have the shimmers I want to use. Can I open this one? Probably not. So, you know, these two have the shimmers. This one kind of has some matte in it. So I had to open all these palettes and like look at them all. So let me just do that. Why is James palette so effing big, man? Jesus Christ. I'm only using the two colors down the bloody bottom corner. Okay, so I have all the palettes laid out now. I'm really scared. So I'm going to use the Jawbreaker palette and use the color Sour. I'm going to insert a photo of the palettes I'm using then like label what I'm using because they're all laid out right now. So I'm not going to pick them up. I'm going to grab the color Sour from Jeffree's palette on the M433 brush by Morphe. And I don't think this is dense enough, but we'll see. And kind of just put that in the crease. I don't really know what I'm doing. I know I'm doing like kind of a, ho a holo. Oh my god, who am I? Is it being illogical? Halo eye. So we'll see how this bloody well goes. See, I'm not a massive fan of green. I don't know, green's a weird colour. I know a lot of people do like green. So if you'd like green and you're hating on me, I'm sorry. I just don't really like it on me. St. Patty's Day is actually shook. No, but seriously, it's just a weird colour for me. It's a beautiful colour on other people, but just on me, it's a weird colour because of my skin tone, I reckon. Now, I'm going to blend... Ooh, love that. Love blending. So I'm going to use a color from the James Charles palette, the lightest green. Don't know what it's called because the sheet does my head in. So I'm going to use a Jaclyn Hill brush by Morphe, the 34, and blend the top of this out. Now, I don't have any eyelid space. You can tell I don't have eyelid space. So this color is going straight to my brow because I don't have eyelid space like most people do. So my brows are getting the action today. Oh, like Shrek. <laughs> Love that. Oh my god, this is actually kind of crazy. Not gonna lie. So now I'm gonna go in. I'm actually gonna show you this. I'm gonna go in with a freaky from Juavis and use this dark green. It's a little bit darker than the Jeffrey one and kind of just deepen up the crease. Oh, hello. That's actually a really pretty color. Oh, hello. Should have used that in the first place. A little bit of fallout, which I'm not loving. My lips are really dry. I think that's nice. I don't really know what I'm meant to be doing. Like, all I know is the main show of this is the good shade. I don't think the crease really needs to be that pretty. That's kind of cute. I don't know. This is not really a tutorial. It's kind of just me playing around with makeup. I usually do this all the time on live streams. So it's kind of fun to do it on an actual video. Now we're going to go back in with the P. Louise base and cut the crease, I guess, which is going to be really scary. Oh, hello. <laughs> Do I even have a small concealer brush? I don't think I even do. All right, no, don't, don't have a small concealer brush then, guys. Which is Jesus brush. I don't really care. Well, I do because I actually want this look to look good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is do something. Oh, I don't think that's where I was meant to go. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, this video just got really scary. Okay, okay. It's okay, Chloe. It's fine. We're going to need a smaller brush because that one's way too big. And get a really small mirror and just draw something pretty on my eye. That's not how it's meant to look. It's not. Oh, socks, you're not helping by just snoring, okay? That's not cute. That's really not cute. Okay, well, I think I stuffed it up and I keep hitting the camera. It's not fun. Now I'm going to get the shimmery shades out. So oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't. I'm like stressing, so I <laughs> love that for me. I'm going to get a flat shader brush and grab the darker shimmer shade I have, which is from the Magic Mini by Juavis, and um, put that on the outer concealer on the base. I don't know what I'm talking about. Because then I'm going to add the lighter in the middle and probably like a yellow shimmer shade right in the centre. So now I'm going to grab the lighter shade, which is from the Zulu palette by Duavitz once again. And put that right in the centre. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, green. <laughs> and I'm going to grab another flat shader brush because I have so many. I'm going to grab a yellow shimmery shade from the Jawbreaker palette, which is called Lemon Drop. And I haven't actually used this before. I'm going to put that where the white bit is. I'm probably going to put the yellow in the inner corner because I just feel like yellow makes everything better. That's kind cute i think it's cute and that's the main thing it's not that bad okay i just am overreacting 
So I'm going to grab the two yellow shades that I see from the James Charles palette and the Jawbreaker palette. Mix them together and put it in the inner corner because we love yellow. Oh, hello. I don't know if that's cute or not, but... Okay, well, that's the basic of the eyeshadow. I'm going to do my lower lash line and then probably do the other eyeshadow off camera and then we'll do lashes and stuff together so you're not really missing out on that much. But we'll do the lower lash line now. I'm going to get a pencil brush by Morphe, the Jaclyn Hill one in number 40. Then grab Sour from the Jawbreak Collection, which is the first color we ever used. And we're going to put that on my lower lash line because we love that. And we're going to meet it up with the yellow in the inner corner. I want to stab your eye out while you're doing this. I'm kind of feeling to put a pencil eyeliner in my lower lash line. I just feel like that's really cool. So I think I might do that. That's kind of cool. I don't think I'm going to do liner or anything just because there's a lot going on. But I'm going to do my other eye off camera and then I will come back and do some lashes with you and do the face and finish off the look. And hopefully I don't have a mental breakdown while doing this. Give me a second and I'll be right back. Hello, I'm back. So now I've already put my lash glue on my lashes. I'm just going to curl my lashes and put mascara on and then we'll put the lashes on. So I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. Oh my god, that was not on my eyelash. Alrighty then. I'm just going to put some mascara on. Oh god, there's a flock of birds. Okay. I'm just going to put some mascara on. This is the lights camera. Camera splashes by Tarte. I'm gonna put. <coughs> I'm just gonna put some on my lashes. Not too much, because obviously when I put my lashes on, I put more to blend them together. It's just basically to get the powder and stuff off my eyelashes. I'm also gonna put them on my lower lash line, because now it's done and finito. I just got paid. Sorry, I was listening to music and now the songs are stuck in my head. I don't know if I like this look or not. Like it looks crazy, but I feel like once I put lashes on, it's gonna look a bit cute. But I look crazy, and there's dead skin under my nose. <laughs> And the lashes I'm going to be using are my favorite lashes of all time. These are the Iconic Lashes by House of Lashes. I bloody love them. I don't know if you can tell, but they're like smaller on the inner half and they flare out, which is what I love because I hate like big lashes here. So these are really beautiful. So I'm just going to put these on. I also just used the House of Lashes lash glue as well. It's stuck to the tweezer. Why is it stuck to the tweezer? This is the part where everything goes wrong. It's not even on my lash line. You know what? I hate those. The fact that lashes take so much time and effort, but like it's the best part of a look let's be honest like look at this compared to this okay now i'm going to use this bad boy i got this from like priceline this is the ardell lash thingy move up i think they like to squeeze the lashes together that's what i do you can probably put lashes on with this as well but i just squeeze my real lashes together with the fake one don't look down because it looks shit it looks bad because it's not actually on my lash line so let's not talk about that all right this eyelash is effed up but it's the better eye and it's also the better eyebrow so i don't know what the fuck is happening right now oh god it's jabbing me in the eye Eyes are done. Now let's move on to the face, which is the most export exporting exporting part. That makes so much sense. I love doing bronzer and contour and all that. So this is like my favorite part of the whole look. So to contour, I'm gonna use my Hula bronzer. I'm gonna use a Morphe E48 brush and contour those cheekbones, my non-existent one. I'm gonna do a little bit on my forehead, not too much though, because this powder is very, very I would say deep and like it's very dark. I don't really need that on my face. Forehead. That's such a small forehead, as everyone keeps pointing out to me. I'm going to use a little tool that it comes with just to deepen it up a little bit. It's going to calm down in a second. And once I put everything else on, it's going to look a bit better. Okay, so now I'm going to use bronzer. Now, I've had this bronzer for years. <laughs> I use it every single time I do my makeup, so it's not out of date or anything. Now, I do add a little bit of this. What the fudge was that? I do add a little bit of this to my forehead. Not too much, though, because we've gathered that I don't have a forehead. Okay, so next, I'm going to add a little bit of highlighter. And then I'm going to add blush. And then add more highlighter because that's just what I do. So I'm gonna start with the Jeffree Star Diamond Wet Supreme Frost. I've been using this a lot more recently since the review, and it's okay. <laughs> it's a lot to get used to because of the little glitters. See how chunky that is? I don't know if you can tell, but so I'm gonna start with this one and just do a light coat of highlighter and put a little bit on my nose, not too much though, because I'm gonna use a different highlighter for my nose. And then I'm gonna grab my blush. My favorite of all time is the Bobbi Brown Luminizing Bronzing Powder in Maui 3. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm just gonna grab that on a Morphe 405 brush and smile and dab that shit on my cheeks. Now, because I'm basically blending everything together, it does cancel out the highlighter a little bit. That's why I add more after this. Now, more highlighter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use my trusty handy Denny Ofra glazed donut highlighter. I love this shit. Like I have so many highlighters, but like this is probably my top. I just love white highlighters. You guys know that. I'm going to put that on my cheekbone, basically right on top of the Jeffrey one. <laughs> We love a good highlight. I love highlighter. Can you tell? Probably not. The face is done. Now I'm going to use my Morphe setting spray. This is the best setting spray of all time. And then I have to pick a lip color. I'm 
diggy nude. I just don't know what nude. I'm thinking a red base nude. I don't have a red base nude. Well, this is the hardest decision of my entire life. I think I might just use Daddy, which is the Many MUA collab that Jeffrey did. But I just gonna put that on my lips. That actually looks really good with this look. Mm -mm -mm. I love this. Let me like fix my hair a little bit and then I'll come back and finish this video for you guys. This is the final look. Low key, I'm loving it because I'm not a massive fan of green, but like mixed with other colors, I'm like, yes, you know, but like this is the final look. No, but seriously, it's actually a really nice look. I actually do love it with the bronze look. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of makeup video talk through. It's kind of different because I didn't do a tutorial. Well, I kind of did. It's just a bit different. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up for me. If you like this video, let me know and I can do some more. My social media links and all of the products I used today will be down below in the description box, like always. If you are new here, please subscribe because I make two videos with you guys every Monday and Thursday. Remember to spread love and stay positive. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, everyone. Mwah.